What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. And by the way, I'm well aware <laughs> the wheels are bad. We'll take care of that in the future. We'll take care of that in the future. But how's everybody doing? I appreciate you guys clicking on some ATS here today. I appreciate it, guys. I do appreciate it. Oh, goodness. Those are too long. We want to take kind of a short run, shorter run. Um, for reasons I will tell you guys in a minute here. So I have purchased and am going to use in this video for the first time, um, actually recording with it, the shifter for American truck simulator. Okay. The shifter, we have the shifter. I think I'm going to take the, no, that's kind of long still. Um, I have the shifter and I kind of want, uh, I kind of want to take an easy run here just so I can mess with the shifter. So like I said, it's my first time. I'm probably going to mess it up quite a bit. All right. So I'm going to just flat out say, please <laughs> take it easy on me. This is my first time with the shifter. So just, just. Be kind. <laughs> uh, be kind, please. Okay. So let's try this. Uh, let's try this here. Oh, no. See, we're in high range. We want to be in. No, we are in low range. We want to be in low range. Okay. <laughs> so we're using a 13 speed transmission right now. Um, 13 speed transmission. So um, it's going to be. Now see why did I why did I stall the truck? Really? Come on, fire up. Okay, I gotta I gotta not give it so many RPMs. I think is my problem. Um, like I said, guys, <laughs> very new with this thing. I honestly got it working about. Well, I've been spent I spent about half an hour uh, working on it, so. Please, 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 please be very... Oh, we're going to run that red light. Be kind to me. I'm a noob. I'm well aware. It's dark, and I can't really do um, anything about it, okay? Because I actually um, I actually just slept right before the thing, and then I accidentally slept um, twice, and... Uh, it was kind of a whole thing, okay? So I'm I'm using the Wheel Stand Pro like I've been using for the wheel, and then I have the uh, the the there's like an accessory off to the side. It's up a little high for me, but it's actually not bad placement. Um, it's it's not it's not terrible. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do that. There we go. Here, let's uh, downshift one. Okay, I swear I'm getting us. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're in a 13 speed so we don't have like you can't split some of the gears and you can't it's a whole thing guys so we should be in maxed out gear now eight high that should be that should be where we want to go i know we're speeding actually never mind no we're not not too much anymore but uh just bear with me on this um honestly it's something that i've wanted for a while I think I would do better with one of those shifter knobs with like the splitter and the thing on it. And that will come eventually, uh, most likely. They're kind of expensive. That is the only problem that I have with them is they're kind of pricey. They're like a hundred bucks uh, just for that knob. I paid less than that for the shifter. I actually got the shifter on sale. Uh, pretty good sale I found on Newegg. Um, and I paid like 60 bucks for it or something. Normally it's like 80 bucks. so. I feel like my steering's a little loose today, but it's probably just me, because it has been, it's been a while since I've played ATS with the old wheel here, so it has definitely been a while. And yeah, I know we're speeding. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So we'll probably try to sleep here in a little while as well, just because. So once you get on the highway, it's not bad with the shifter, because obviously I'm not touching the shifter. It's kind of nice. Just saying. So, 
getting in and out of towns and stuff it's gonna be uh going to be a little bit interesting for me here until i you know kind of get going with it so um and i'll probably turn on the thing where you guys can hear like if i'm grinding it or, or whatever all right so we want to go ahead and go no not there not there not there but we want to go no not high range i want low range there we go all right so now we want to god it's like what do i even do not that <laughs> uh low five might work come on rev up baby <laughs> who else is cringing right now there you go first gear first gear it's the fourth gear it's probably fast enough for us to be in town here anyway actually can we didn't quite mean to go to low eight but okay <laughs> Uh, I am jumping gears all over the place, guys. I'm learning, like I said. Bear with me. I did watch some videos, but most of the people that are, are using the thing, you know, they go ahead and they get the uh, the, the shifter knob for on top, the Eaton folder or whatever. Now that's the transmission. Whatever it's called. The shifter knob on top, and that just makes all the sense in the world because, you know, high-low is right there. Like, I'm using the paddles for my high-low, so it's kind of... Um, kind of a bit weird for me to use the paddles so those were kind of the buttons that uh, just kind of made sense to me at the time so probably not the best options but that's what I used to use to shift between like forward and reverse and stuff like that so now that I'm not doing that that is why that is why so yeah Oh, crap, we're stopping here. Okay, all right, we got this. <laughs> Holy jumping, guys. Oh, this is going to be a bit of an adventure. Let's take the double trailer. Why not? The double uh, the double boxes. Let's take those. Okay, where are we going here? Um, We want not that. Not that. We want first gear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, here, let's granny it. We'll go in low gear, which is lower than first gear. This is like your parking lot gear, six miles an hour. Oh, missed my shift there. I'm hoping you guys can't hear it all too much. Like, I'm actually using the clutch. Um, it's a whole thing, guys. It is a whole thing. So, there is that. Okay, where's our trailer actually at? So, we'll just keep her in low gear, because, hey, that's what it's for, right? It's for the parking lots and stuff. Actually, I would assume the, the low, quote-unquote, low gear um, would be for... Oh, my God, how many times can I... How many times can I stall my truck? <laughs> uh, low gear would be, like, you got a real heavy load kind of thing, I guess. I don't know if you'd actually use low gear. Some of you guys might know. I still have not turned on my advanced trailer coupling. Pull up a little better, buddy. Is it gonna... Okay. Okay. I'm still in... Let's try first gear. No, not that. There we go. Oh, no, I, I put it in second gear by accident. Okay. Low gear. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We're going we're gonna to be able to do this. <laughs> uh, it will get better with practice, guys. I Like I said, I've been messing with it for about 20 minutes, if that. So, and I think, honestly, the, the other handle is going to happen probably sooner. Uh, rather than later because I feel like it would be a billion times easier with the other handle to be perfectly honest 
I feel like it would be so much easier to have that than what I'm trying to do. Because I don't, like, remembering. Okay, what is this? What is that? Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Golly. Yeah, the other handle's going to be so <laughs> nice. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. And I know I'm supposed to obey traffic lights and stuff, but... Ooh, I don't know about that right now, guys. Just saying. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Officer. Alright, let's go ahead and downshift. We're going to slow down for this car because we got to wait for it to go. And actually, we're doing okay on our speed because our R's are up nice and high. We need to, I really need to start watching my RPMs a little bit so I don't like stall the thing out at like the billionth time that I've stalled it out today. So, you have a red light. And see, we, we can jump gears too because maybe we can't. <laughs> Not while going uphill. Come on, John. We have a little tiny engine. What are we doing here, John? So, I will get better with this whole clutching and shifting thing, I swear. It's something that I've been wanting uh, to mess with for quite some time, actually. So, I'm glad that I have the capabilities now to do so. And uh, I, I just, I don't know. I feel like the uh, the shifter handle is going to have to happen soon because I feel like it would make it a lot easier if I had that handle. So that's definitely something to keep in mind there. Okay, we need to. Well, we're going 65. I mean, we're actually maintaining our speed like we're supposed to, but <laughs> that's another story. So it took us 13 minutes to. Oh my god! Well, I did have a phone call in there. Hopefully, I remember to edit that out. If I don't, then I'm a dum-dum. But I'm pretty sure I will remember to edit that out. But anyway, I had a phone call in there for a second, so there is that. Okay, and I hate driving at night, but like I said, I screwed up on my my sleeping schedule. And uh, yes, we need to get into high range now. Not first gear. There we go, high. Uh, come on, baby. <laughs> so they're that the high and low and the splitter thing. They they've got me right now. Honestly, if I could just get those situated in my brain, like what's what here, um, I feel like that would make my life a lot easier. And honestly, when I was first messing with this thing, I had my 18 speed in my other truck, and I was messing with that, and that one seemed a lot easier for some reason. I guess because you can split all the gears in the 18 speed and you can high low obviously but in this one you can't split all of the gears uh, because you just don't have enough you don't have enough so there is that did I shift too soon there? nah we're still putting speed on but if we do this put some speed on sooner maybe? not really I forget we have a little baby truck okay baby truck do 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 so yeah, there's that. Okay, so now we're in 8 high, which would be our 13th, our highest gear, I believe now. <laughs> I'm not totally sure how it works. Uh, I'm still learning. Don't hate me too much. Don't hate me. Okay, we're good on way station, but is there somewhere to sleep there? Because I would love to sleep right now. Looks like no. But you do have to remember, guys, life is a highway, and I want to drive it. I'll not allow <laughs> I forget. I think it was Sean left a comment saying that in a past video, and I thought it was pretty funny. Life is a highway. I won't ride it all night long. Should be fun. Uh, I'm actually the night or day I'm recording this video. Uh, I'm planning on streaming tonight and playing American Truck. So that should be very, very interesting. So. See how that goes. <laughs> we will see how that goes. Because uh, I'm planning on using the shifter, so. There's that. There is that. 
But anyway, yeah, I think the handle's gonna have to happen. I was gonna wait, but the more I drive the way I have it set up, I, I'm not, I don't really care for it. I won't lie. And I feel like it would just be a lot easier if I had the actual uh, splitter and high-low and stuff like that. So, yeah, and it seems like it's pretty well plug-and-play. You'd have to, like, sync the buttons up but or the switches, but no big deal. So, the only thing that sucks is it's another USB port <laughs> that I have to use on the computer. And it's like, I'm... I use so many USBs already, it's crazy how much I, how many I use. So it's like, hey, let's add another one. Why not? Why not, right? All I know is we'd be rolling with our light little load here. What kind of load do we have here? How many pounds do we have is what I'm after. 20,000? Yeah, no wonder I can roll. No wonder I can roll. 20,000 pounds, that's nothing. Even for my baby truck, that's nothing. Just saying. I know, I'm all over the highway right now. But like I said, I haven't played in a while, so it's kind of why I'm like all over the place. All over the place. Alrighty. So you got brake lights on up there? Or are you good up there? Eh, it looks like they might be okay. thought they had brake lights on. I was concentrating. Yeah, that rumble strip's still there. Do you guys know that? <laughs> so I will take care of the rims on this truck eventually, and there's actually some other stuff I could do, uh, like an engine upgrade. So we will mess with that. I may even change the, the paint a little bit. I, I don't know. I like the paint, but we may change it up a little bit. And uh, I might just make a whole video about, like, messing with the truck. So there's that because it definitely cuts into it makes a very long video the other thing I'm gonna say about the length of the videos is I'm still going to maintain one job one load but I will have certain times where I know that I'm going to try and take a long load like a very long load you know like the long loads I will I will probably record the whole journey just me driving and then I will speed it up and voice it over after. Is kind of what I'm thinking. So uh, I I like the idea of one video, one one job. Um, that was my intent when I started this. Of course, I can always change. You know, from what I originally kind of set out to do. But I would like to try to maintain the one video, one job. I don't really want to put out two videos back to back because that kind of defeats... Why not just do one? I don't know. But I will say I appreciate all the positive comments about this series. You guys are absolutely in love with this series and I appreciate that like crazy. You guys don't even know. It's super cool. If I would have known, I probably would have started this series a lot sooner however i wanted to make sure i had the wheel up and running and was mildly comfortable with it before i started and uh, i feel like it has made me a far better american truck simulator driver player whatever so there's that and then now having the shifter i know i'm i'm a learning i'm a learning give me give me a couple of videos here even by the time i record the next one um, hopefully it's better by then, but I think I am going to go ahead and pick up the, um, the thing, the, the, the actual, like, shifter knob with the, uh, splitter high-low on it. I, I just think that'll be a lot better than, uh, what I'm using right now. And then I can put my paddles on the wheel to blinkers, so I can actually start using blinkers in the Let's Play and the stream that I do, so I think that'll be kind of cool. It's definitely something that I am looking forward to, so hope you guys are as well. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I can tell you that life has been crazy busy here lately, but not necessarily... Let's say shift down here, baby, get some RPMs going. Uh, not necessarily in a bad way, it has just been very... Um, very very busy here lately with mom coming home and and everything like that so very very busy but hey that's not not a bad thing so 
it has just been interesting here at home it's been a lot of work in fact i'm lucky if i get like one to two videos a day recorded which is okay for this week and maybe next week but after that i really need to uh get cranking and get some videos made because i am far behind not behind but if i so it's friday right now which actually i didn't even think about it. i should have been editing on the farm video for today oh well i guess i just won't sleep tonight which is okay <laughs> it's okay maybe i'll find some time tomorrow but i need to cover oh my god i'm bitching about my life isn't aren't i uh i was gonna say isn't i but that's just, that's not proper english i am complaining about my life again and i need to stop doing that i have a great life i love my life just busy right now that's all just busy another reason i wanted to do a short short -er load still over a 20 minute video but it's not going to be an hour long video <laughs> like or the there was an hour long one i think there was a 40 minute long one like i don't mind doing the long videos i really don't but i have to have the time that week to do it you know so you know, mom coming home i kind of use every sparing moment i have to uh, work on puma plus stuff plus today i hooked up the shifter and stuff and that kind of took some time i won't lie um that definitely uh definitely took some time to get it set up like i wanted and uh, i first put the bracket on pointing down let's say for the wheel stand for the shifter to mount to it and then i realized i'm like i'm not gonna have any knee room oh god stay in my lane john um i realized i'm not gonna have any knee room at all so gotta go ahead and uh put it on the other way just because it makes sense too so there's that so yeah okay so that does actually i didn't think the clutch really did much but like if i push the clutch the yards do go up so i didn't realize i mean i know what a clutch does but it seemed like to me in the game it just wasn't working so i don't know maybe that's just me so if i do this and i okay all right all right we're, we're figuring this out figuring this out boys just saying I'm, I'm starting to figure figure out a few things here okay i didn't figure out that i need fuel <laughs> i should make it 20 more miles right maybe i certainly hope so no i know i can i went i've gone much farther before on less fuel so we should be okay here we will hopefully be okay we'll probably stall the truck getting off the highway because that's just kind of what we do especially if we have to stop but uh you know it's okay <laughs> i'm learning i'm learning i will probably let's see driving a stick shift in real life is probably easier i'm not gonna lie it's probably oops, sorry car it's probably um easier but see that shouldn't do that to me like yeah we'll stay in high speed Ooh, i didn't like that we're going too fast for high five apparently because we just all the rpms so there we go that wasn't too bad getting off the highway we didn't have to stop <laughs> okay so as long as i know like that's not going to kill the truck so we can actually like shift okay so i'm starting to figure this out so the clutch is my friend okay it just seemed like earlier the clutch was not working like it should so i'm glad the clutch is now working although i have to remember to keep my foot on the brake as well which it's making no no come on making my chair roll away from me <laughs> my chair wants to roll backwards right now and see since we're in a town do we really there we go we're, ooh, we're getting it boys sorry I'm, I'm like concentrating on my gears and stuff so I, I'm probably, oh, um, uh, come on, baby, come on, shift down here. What are you doing, transmission? 
Uh, no. I just passed where I want to go, didn't I? Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, no, didn't like that. Duly noted, you don't like to go all the way down to first gear. Okay. Got it, transmission. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. It's all about letting that off that clutch real easy and giving her a little gas and figuring it out. Going from second to fourth, you know. How we do it. <laughs> uh, you know how we do it. And then we got the Jake break too. I'm saying. All right, we're going in here. And we got to choose our parking, so we're going to go ahead and put her in neutral and coast on down. All right. Um, you know what? Let's uh, oh, let's oh, let's do it. Okay. Alright, there we go. There we go. Let's go. No, give me that back. Not that I need that, but hey. Would have been easier to come in back there, wouldn't it? That's okay. It's not a terrible parking spot because we have room to pull up here. See, what I like about this now is I can put it first gear. This is, this is like the advantage or the thing that I wanted uh, to begin with is you can just put her in first gear and just slowly roll it. No, we don't want high, high reverse, we want low reverse. But same thing even in reverse, like with the, with the automatics, it, it'll shift up in reverse. I don't really like that, so. The fact that I can just chill in a reverse now and not have to worry about that or put it in low gear for parking lots or first gear even and just kind of chill and it makes all the sense in the world to me, honestly. So there's that. And pull the clutch in so we don't kill her. Oh, and then we kill it anyway. Alright, so stop clut or break first gear actually you know what let's use that low gear see it doesn't like to do two shifts you see um, it doesn't like to do two yeah, let's get over a little bit more there we go darn it I keep trying to get it perfect, and it's like, no, John, just, 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 just hit the button, John. Just hit the button, John. Seriously, hit the button, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Any hoozles? Oh, we actually got a fair little bit out of, out of that load. Anyway, we will change the rims. But thank you guys for watching my first um, video with the shifter. Please be nice to me in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate it. Until next time, I'm your boy John from Pool Fly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, toodles.